I wanted to make this video to talk about my history with Destiny and I wanted to talk about how what Destiny is to me where all it really is to me is just doing self-forgiveness and I'm going to do an example of what that looks like for me later on. <clears throat> and Destiny is a collective of people who communicate uh, different ideas, a lot of activism, trying to think about practical ways to uh, change problems, the uh, money system, or whatever day-to-day -day problems people have uh, and Destiny is a group of people who utilize self-forgiveness to basically walk things out within themselves so that they can then uh, go on to help other people with say uh, anger you do self-forgiveness for anger and that becomes a form of releasing anger and then you can go on to show other people how you did it and it's all very practical, it's the self-forgiveness, which is what I said is the main part, is what I mostly focus on, and it is just a few lines, and then you basically, you keep repeating it, you dig into something, and then in digging into something and self-forgiveness, you're going to start opening up more dimensions, uh, you start doing it on a regular basis, and you can really start to dig into, you know, any part of yourself and it's all in words you say it out loud so it doesn't have to do with experiences or feelings uh, beliefs ideas it's really straightforward <clears throat> uh, so going back I must have been around 13 years old when I got into uh, different kind of spiritual ideas um, a lot of new age spirituality and I didn't really uh, stick with that for a long time because uh, through looking at different kind of spiritual videos um, I found uh, Destiny material which I think was placed there you know out of convenience where kind of to like a net to catch people who were getting into that spiritual kind of ideas and kind of showing them a more practical way um, to kind of go about that line of, of self-searching and um, trying to find balance and peace and all of that stuff, but in a practical way with self-forgiveness where you're using real words, just speaking out loud, digging into yourself, all through your own memory, your own reactions, it's not something outside of yourself. Um, so I think it was that net to catch people going in that direction to kind of uh, filter out, you know, who is interested in spirituality to just feel good and who can actually take some of these concepts of self uh, and dig a little deeper to see what you can actually do for real with it. Um, so at that time... Um, Destiny did bring up a lot of kind of spiritual feelings. I thought, you know, this was a really special group, and I, I wanted to be, you know, involved eventually. After watching a lot of their material and videos, I found their main site, started writing on the forum, doing self-forgiveness on the forum. And uh, so that was for a few years. Uh, I was on and off doing that. You know, I was still pretty young, so it was kind of hard to process everything all at once, but then within a couple of years, you know, doing the writing, uh, uh, writing things out, you know, trying to really apply everything just every day, uh, I started trying to practice breathing because there was a lot of talk about uh, breathing and trying to understand what that was and how to do that. <clears throat> so... Uh, then for a couple years, so around um, around 17 to around 19, uh, 
I step back a little bit from things. You know, I, even then I was still very young, and um, and there was a lot going on. You know, around that time, my father was sick for a year, ended up passing away. Um, you know, started working uh, a lot of a lot of angsty uh, um, feelings and a lot of uh, just being overwhelmed. And that's something I'm still working on. Where you know, I try to understand that being at a young age it was hard to process a lot of this stuff and that in the end for almost the past year I have been back just better than ever just every single day just focusing on the writing don't get overwhelmed don't read into things too much just focus on the actual structure of the self-forgiveness applying that every day seeing how that works what it does and that's been really good for me and now you know my life is finally uh, going in the traction I want it to and I have all the promise and capability to do whatever you know I'm gonna set my mind to um, and so that is why I do try to not beat myself up and just look into how in being introduced to destiny at a young age a lot of the cult association uh, which I'm not really even going to get into, uh, but Destiny has dealt with a lot of uh, cult association for a long time, and I don't really want to touch on that, but that's just for whoever looks into that to decide for themselves what that means, or if that's a true or false thing about them. But um, So then... So just that word itself and just what it was at such a young age um, was overwhelming. I didn't really have a lot of um, guidance to help me process a lot of it. So I felt very isolated in that. Um, and at the same time, just being isolated also allowed me to see I have to make this decision for myself. You know, no one's going to come and invite me like you know this is what you need to be doing, you know this is what works and this is what's good for you. There's no one to tell you that, you know, and no one's going to make you feel good or bad, you just kind of have to make certain decisions for yourself and that's how I um, kind of came back after that couple year absence between 17 to 19, um, where within that time I was just practicing breathing um, and that just really didn't fit the full equation, just breathing, uh, trying to be centered, be here, it really wasn't enough without the self-forgiveness, um, but, um, so that's my timeline now, um, about to turn 21 in a week, and so it's been, uh, maybe six, seven years, uh, of me just processing all of this and what it means, um, Destiny within the group want to do a lot in the world. Um, you know, they start with themselves. You have to change yourself before you can kind of bring that outward for anyone else. So, with what they want to do is directed towards, you know changing the money system, creating an equal money system, I can't really get into that either because uh, for me and where I'm at, I don't really know how they plan to implement that, uh, the repercussions of that. I'm just focused on myself, you know, and I'm working on myself first before I try to figure all that out, but I really think that they are going to, as a group, and what they're practicing, going to go very very far, um, I think it's going to take a long time, but there isn't anything else out there that um, does things the way they do or understands things the way they do. <clears throat> and so, like I'm saying, all it comes down to is me and self-forgiveness. That's what I'm walking. Um, you know, you want to live certain things like, uh, say you want to be healthier, you want to create certain things in your life, you know, realistic things. I learned, or I work with 
a lot of scheduling, you know, that's something that I'm trying to define and live in my life uh, every day, trying to live by certain schedules, you know, times I do things, and that's something that I have to keep working on, and that's just real world things I do. Um, so that's one element, is just trying to improve yourself generally day to day, um, but then the core mechanic of self-forgiveness, uh, I'll do just an example of how I do it and basically what it is to me. So I don't make um, a lot of videos, I'm not usually comfortable doing that, so right here I can just kind of dip my toes into that just while I'm making a video. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to fear not coming across the way I'd like to because I feel that I can't speak to my phone the way I would if I was just by myself where I then create the idea of a person who is here with me as my phone which doesn't really reflect what it really is, just me alone making this video. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to fear not coming across the way I'd like to in my video. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to fear not leaving the impression I'd like to. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to not trust myself to just let go and express myself as unconditionally as I can. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to fear being able to experience uh, the barrier between me doing the video the best I can and where I'm at in the middle of that where I can't just release that inhibition, that fear of making a video and I do need time to maybe make more videos or become more comfortable with that before there isn't so much of a barrier but just a fluent, comfortable getting to a point, making my point, not having to overthink things so that's the general outline is what I'm doing there, breaking down the nervousness, the anxiety, the experience, what it means, why it's there. You just keep digging, you know, and that's just how much time you want to spend doing that. Um, so that's a few lines of what self-forgiveness is, just the same thing, and you just keep digging into yourself. Then, um, moving forward, I don't want to be uh, having this barrier or this nervousness or anxiety making a video. I want to just be here uh, as centered as I can. So then, is the correction where you're going to forgive and then change. So, when and as I see myself feeling nervous, like I don't know how to best express myself while making a video, I stop, I breathe, I realize that this is something new to me that I'm not comfortable with. And so then I realize I'm not comfortable with new things that take me out of my element, that throw me into a new dimension that I'm not used to or comfortable with. Thus, when I see myself making a video and feeling nervous like this isn't something that I'm used to, I slow down, I breathe, I realize that I don't need to get this right the first time, that in taking that step and making the video, even though I'm nervous, is a step in facing that resistance and already having moved forward. So in slowing down, realizing that I've taken that first step, I'm giving myself that space to just breathe, realize I've taken that first step and now I can move forward for the next time, 
focus on breathing, focus on my correction, maybe do more self-forgiveness um, to help kind of ease myself into making another video uh, where I would go into more depth and be more specific, uh, or I might need to write it down, which can be something that helps a lot too, is speaking it and writing it out. But so that's all it is, and that's all that um, Destiny represents to me, is just using that technique. Um, and how that works and why it works is something that you can look into or consider for yourself. Um, go to destiny.org, that's D-E-S-T-E-N-I, uh, to do your own research if you can reflect or relate to anything I'm saying or where I'm coming from. Um, so, self-forgiveness, I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself, and then you dig into that, then you're going to correct, you're going to try to change. Okay, so, when and as I see myself doing whatever it is, I stop. You know, I stop participation if it's anger, judgment, just stop, just breathe, let go. Thus, I commit myself to, when I see myself getting angry, to slow down, to breathe, to focus on not being angry, taking that first step in just trying to not be angry. Um, if you try to not be angry and you slow down and it doesn't work, then why doesn't it work? What's still there? Uh, just keep trimming away at things. So that's my relationship to destiny and what it is to me, which is just using self-forgiveness to change yourself. And then, of course, uh, the group as a whole, uh, having a lot of different material, a lot of different ways that they're active in their communities and in their world, you know. And that's all I really have to say about it. So that's my history and that's what I do. And there's definitely a lot of elements that would go unaddressed just in this video alone, but that really is all it comes down to. And of course, you can look into it yourself. Um, and just thank you for watching.